Hey guys, this is AI Gaming 1776 playing Fallout 4 on opening night, launch night, if you will, with the GTX 960 on max settings. Now, I'm in the middle of a battle right now. You have no context for the battle, so hopefully there won't be any spoilers. But I will tell you, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, there's some bit of artificial difficulty if you will, between the way VATS works. VATS is super, like here, I'll show you. VATS is pretty limited. I have a 43% chance with this weapon to hit that guy in the head, a 22 per, well, in the chest, torso, 22% chance to hit him in the head. Let's see if I even do. Now, I have actually put points into, uh, into the special thing that actually helps VATS. And I still don't have too much luck with VATS, to be honest with you, especially at a distance. Now, you can blame it on the weapon. You can blame it on all kinds of things. And then you try to do the iron sights. There's mixed luck with that. And then you only have so many VATS points. And, and uh, actually, you can't even see... You can't even see your VATS points when you're in this armor, I don't think. Or can you? I don't know, that AP thing. Yeah, AP on the right. All right, so let's, let's do it again. Let's actually use up all the points. So that, yeah, see that little tachometer thing over there in the lower right hand corner where it says AP action points. Anyway, when you're in the middle of a battle, your action points can be spent very quickly and then come back very slowly. And then iron sights don't always work that awesomely. I mean, part of it, you can say a bad aim, that's fine. But plenty of professional reviewers, they've said that they've died more in this game than they did in Fallout 3. And I think part of it is it is a little more challenging. But in an artificial manner. Now one thing that's interesting is if your companion kills a bad guy, you still get points for it. Now there's a big old monster over there. I've been trying to hang out up here and save the minigun ammo. Also, where is the minigun? Is it in my pit boy? Making sure I didn't drop it. I was going to say, where did I drop it? Anyway, there's a monster down there. And when you go down there, he can beat your ass. Even though you are in this suit. Oh, is that even hurting him? Yeah, interesting thing about the last time I fought this monster is he went through buildings, all right? He walked through buildings like they were nothing. So I'm saving the minigun until I jump down there and have to get face-to-face -face with him is what I'm doing. The first time I did this, I used the minigun on the raiders and uh, just wasted my ammo. It's going to work much better when I can get up in that dude's chest, that death claw. Hey, look at me. All right, can I see him? All right, so last time I had to jump down, he was in between those buildings over there. I probably have to go do that. Now, the thing is, is he can walk through buildings, and I don't know if that's a glitch or what, but he was walking through buildings like he could walk through walls last time I fought him. So then he would like reappear in places where I did not expect him. So we're probably going to go down there. Anyway, if you want to know how the game performs, which is probably why you're watching the video, I will tell you, I don't, I have not played it on max settings a whole lot with the GTX 960 because it's been inconsistent. See how it's been staying at 60 frames per second. It doesn't always do that at max settings. Sometimes it does go down into the 40s and I like a consistent frame rate so what I did was I backed off shadows so I turned shadows down one notch and then I went into distance and I turned down the uh the detail level for items that were further away I only turned turned that down like one notch for two different things so I only turned down I think three notches for maxed out and it pretty much stayed at 60. It would go into the 50s here and there, but pretty much stayed at 60. I prefer constant frame rate. 
Yeah. Anyone that's watched my channel long enough knows that that's what I preach. Because you can get an average of 58 frames per second by staying at 60 most of the time, but then it's dipping into the 40s. And I'm not into all that, right? Like, I don't get excited just because I averaged 58. I don't like going down into the 40s. However, with all that said, I am going to go down there here in a minute. I just don't want to die. The Death Claw can kill you pretty quickly in power armor. So I'm not in the mood to die. Actually, can I do a stim pack now? Okay, did I push down on my quick key? I'm still learning this. I pushed down on my quick key, but it looks like I still had to press A in addition to it. So I have more hit points going into this than I did last time. That's part of the issue. Wait a minute. Oh, there's my iron sight. All right. I'm about to go down there. Sorry if the commentary is a little bit dry and I'm standing up here on this building. I wanted to be able to give you spoiler free gameplay. And I found myself finally in a part without spoilers. But I'm also in a part where I could die. I don't think you want to watch me die. This is the problem with trying to... Ooh. This is the problem with trying to post a video the day the game comes out. That is a, that is a small problem with it. I apologize for that. You know, this is one of those issues where in a couple days I'll probably have a pretty good spot picked out. All right, let's see if we can shoot at this guy. I'll probably have like a good save file lined up. All right, can I run? Oh, it uses action points to run too. By the way, I have been putting points into that. I put my action, I put my points into strength a little bit. I think I've got my strength up to four. I put points into strength. I put points into, hey. Oh, look, we're in the 40s for the frame rate. See, I told you. I told you, look, we're at 40. And it's a pretty choppy 40. There we go. All right. Damaged and destroyed power armor pieces can be repaired at a power armor station and replaced in the pit boy, apparently. All right. Let's see what I get for taking this guy out. See, if you do this battle, it's early on in the game. Save your ammo for this thing, and then it's not that hard. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Take. There we go. All right, so here's what I'm trying to... Oh, look, we're still in the 40s for the frame rate. Now we're in the 50s. Yeah. The GTX 960 can run the game in ultra, all right? Probably above 30 frames per second. And I know that's one of people's favorite things. Like, can it do ultra above 30 frames per second? So far, yeah. So far. I know I haven't played through the whole game. Um, Even walking around here, it's in the 40s and 50s. So it can do it, uh, maximum settings above 30 frames per second. As a matter of fact, what I find to be very interesting is I almost thought I had my 970 in because when I first started the game, it specifically said something, um, said, you know, it's going to check my graphics card and determine the settings. And then it said ultra. And I was like, really? R ultra with the 960? Because when it said ultra, I thought, you know, for sure I had my 970. And as you get, oh, look, we just went down to 39 frames per second. If you just want to be above 30, it's cool in the gang. The problem is I do, look, now we're at 60. I don't like erratic frame rates. I don't like it. I like a constant experience. I'd rather turn some notches down. So, but yeah, it can do it. This has been pretty much the experience. You know, sometimes it's 60, sometimes it's in the 40s. Uh, I don't know how many hours I really am into the game because I'm a very slow and methodical player. I don't I don't even know if there's a log. Is there? I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Would Pitboy tell me? Actually, maybe in stats. Nah. See, my strength is at 11, probably because I'm wearing power armor, to be honest with you. I put points in perception, points in endurance... 
charisma. I put a lot in charisma and I still, my second conversation I had where you can try to persuade somebody, I failed it. Six points is a lot. They only give you 24 points at the start of the game. I put six points in the charisma and I failed my second persuasion conversation. So that was awesome. Um, let me see. Intelligence is eight. I did eight on intelligence because intelligence makes it so that you get more experience points when, uh, which is going to help you level up. So is that smart or not? I don't know, but that's what I did anyway. And then perceptions for the action points and for vats. It does both. Anyway, it doesn't look bad. The game's not horrendous. It's not as good looking as I would have wanted. Um, I think I said at the start of this video, I wish they had MSAA. For some reason, uh, let me tell you a couple of old games. Okay, Fallout 3 MSAA looked good. It still looks good right now, 2015. Fallout 3 still looks good on PC because MSAA is awesome. Uh, the Batman Arkham games, the first three Arkham games, the two Rocksteady ones and the one from uh, that other company, those first three Arkham games have MSAA. It looks nice, looks crisp. Arkham Asylum still looks really good today. Thank you, MSAA. And then pretty sure that Arkham Knight does not have MSAA. And that was one of the things that annoyed me. And then I don't think this game does either. So anyway, 40s to 60s. I don't want to give you guys spoilers because uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go talk to somebody and it's probably going to move the plot along. So I just wanted to be able to show you some action, a little bit of fighting. Uh, this is what you're actually your pit boy looks different when you're inside the suit. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot this uses battery power. I'm using battery power in this suit. So let me get out of this thing. Matter of fact, this lets me show you the suit. Although now it's, let me turn around. Let me turn around. So come on, get in there. Let me turn around. So the sun shines on the front of that. Character customization, not as good as I would have wanted to be honest with you. Not trying to nitpick the game. I, I like it so far. I like it. I have mixed feelings on it. Um, how do I, oh yeah, whole day. I have mixed feelings on it, to be honest with you. It's good. It's not crap or anything, but I almost feel like the advertisements they used had to have been in 4k and maybe with MSAA or something because the, the graphics quality in those advertisements was good as far as I was concerned. It looked good. It looked nice and shiny and vibrant. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not busted, but you know, it, I don't know how I want to word it, man. It's, it's good. It's not, no, the graphics aren't great guys. They're not. That, that's as far as I'm going to take it. I mean, this is the first night. I have not used my more powerful graphics cards yet. My opinion may change. Look, it's uh look, do you, do you guys see it shaking as I walk around this guy? I think it's cuz we're stressing the 960 pretty hard. I unplugged the I had this on another monitor with display port. I unplugged the display port and it was like on fire. Like it was hot. It was very hot. I mean, like almost scolding hot to the touch. Because one thing I've noticed is when I use high refresh rate monitors with DisplayPort, it really lets the graphics cards push themselves. So, yeah, this game's probably pushing the 960 a little hard, especially at max settings, but it can do it. Anyway, guys, hopefully... Uh, I'll have some better spots, some better save files, some better things to show you guys in future videos. This is just the one for the first night. And remember, as with all things in first nights go, I'm posting this the first night. If two days from now a patch comes out that breaks it, well, this, this is going to be subject to change. And, you know, that's welcome to modern gaming. And the consoles have to deal with this too. The Witcher 3... 
there were patches that came out after the game came out, after people bought the game, after people fell in love with the game, patches came out to make the frame rate struggle on the PS4. Maybe even the Xbox One, but I remember the PS4 people in particular were angry about it. So that's one of the problems with modern gaming. Like you have to keep that in mind. When you watch these videos, you need to look at the upload date. All right. Like, unfortunately, there's a lot of work you got to do these days to really have the full picture about how a game is going to play for you. So look, we're in the, it just went down to 55 just for me strafing. So it can do it. It can do max settings, but personally, I back shadows down. You have to go into the advanced tabs on options. The problem is I can't show you in the middle of the game here. You know what I can do? Oh, wait a minute. I need to save the game just in case. All right. So what you do, give me a second here. See, I tried to show you guys at the start of the video, but it keeps screwing up when I try to record it because there's a launcher for the game. Now I've done this, I think I've done this with other games before and it hasn't been an issue, but Fallout has had some weird crashing issues this this game has. All right, so, oh yeah, it, it has crashed on me like a few times. Normally it crashes when I try to launch the game. If I can get the game playing stable in a stable manner, it's played for me. The crashing has happened when I try to launch it. All right, so we're still recording. So here we are, see 1920 by 1080, anti-aliasing, best quality, samples, 16 samples. So you go over to advanced and I turn shadow quality from ultra to high. I went to view distance and see the object detail and object detail fade. I put those on high instead of ultra and it stayed pretty close to 60 frames per second just doing those two things, which is good because in a lot of games, I turn anti-aliasing off if I have to with the... Uh, GTX 960, but in this game, anti-aliasing off is pretty ugly. It is not good looking. So, all right, I'm going to see if the game crashes for you guys on video. So I'm going to do my little outro, and then I'm going to launch the game. And then if the game crashes and the video stops recording, I've already done the outro. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you, enjoyable in some manner. Uh, hopefully you liked it. Hopefully, you know, maybe it helped you out in some way. You learned something. And this has been AI Gaming 1776. Have yourselves an excellent day. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to see if the game relaunches perfectly fine or if it's going to crash. And, oh, the game launched. However, we're not in the clear yet. So the game, ah, oh, there we go. See? 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 It crashed. I was told you we're not in the clear yet. So, that first screen shows up that first screen shows up and you think, all right, well the game's going. Cause sometimes it crashes before that even happens. So you think, all right, we're going, we're, we're going to do this. But then you try to load your game and it crashes then. But, all right, let's see if it goes now. And it's one of these things where I have to just keep, then I'm fine. I'm in the clear. And so my monitor shut off. I can actually see the game is still going. I use two computers. So that's another thing. When I launch the game, it shuts my monitor off for some reason. But it looks like it's going now. So here, let's see if it actually loads the game, though. So I'll tell it continue. And it crashes here, too. Like in this load screen, you're not in the clear yet. I've had it crash in this load screen two or three times, but usually it crashes on that gray screen. All right. See, if you, you know, I think I've actually had it crash one time after the spinning thing shows up, like the spinning artwork. Because whenever it loads, there's going to be something there spinning, some item or whatever. It could be a character, it could be an animal. and I, You know, Skyrim did the same thing. So... It's loading. Oh, all right. So it should be fine at this point, right? Should be. 
Um, no promises. Other people have said the game has crashed for them. And remember, it is the launch weekend. And all this could be fixed. By the time you watch this video, maybe patches have fixed it. I will have links in the, de in the description for more modern videos as time goes on. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This has been AI Gaming 1776. Have yourselves an excellent day.